At the smallest level, the universe behaves according to quantum physics. At this scale, things are weird. Individual particles interfere with themselves as waves. Particles correlate with other particles over great distances. And sometimes they pass through barriers they don't have enough energy to get across. This seems really crazy, as if the universe is having rendering difficulties once we get to a fine enough scale. But this way of thinking is backwards. As beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, so is weirdness. Quantum is how the universe really is. Our world is the weird one. And today, we're going to see how math can make our world of endless variety out of a murky sea of quantum probability. Before we begin, I want to mention that although I have a master's degree in physics, this video is a solo project. I didn't consult with anybody else. So the ideas of this video should be taken as the ideas of one self-proclaimed expert on the internet. A hundred years after Isaac Newton, Pierre Simon Laplace imagined a demon who could see the positions and velocities of every particle in the universe. With that knowledge, this demon could predict the entire past and future of everything that would ever happen. This reflected a shift in the scientific worldview from a universe governed by the will of nature and spirits to one of mechanical determinism. Later, the quantum revolution changed the paradigm again. Instead of being deterministic, particles at the smallest possible level behave according to probability. Laplace's demon could no longer predict the entire future and past unless all possible futures and pasts are taken into account. We've talked before about the possible realities underneath quantum physics, but today we're going to take it at face value. Particles travel as waves and interact with probabilities proportional to the amplitude of those waves at every point. The universe, according to quantum physics, is probabilistic. But our world is closer to determinism than probabilism. When things seem to be random, it's not because of quantum fuzziness, but because we don't have the full information needed to predict the outcome. And even if we did, we don't have the brain power to process it. In order to figure out how our world can be so deterministic when the foundation of reality is probabilistic, we need to understand probability. Basically, probability is when we try the same test multiple times and get different results. At first, it looks random, which might make us think we can't predict anything about it. But if we try the test a large enough number of times, we start to see a pattern. The greater the number of tests, the closer the results get to the probability distribution. The motion of a molecule of water is random. For one, it's bouncing against an untold number of other molecules. But even if we were Laplace's demon and knew all of the positions and velocities of all the particles, we still couldn't predict where that one single molecule would go because its wave function is fluctuating all over the place, adding extra randomness. This is about 100 grams of water. We understand intuitively how it moves. It's liquid, it's wet and we can describe its motion with relatively simple equations. How many molecules are in this 100 grams? 100 times Avogadro's number, or six followed by 25 zeros. That's more than the number of stars in the observable universe. When you have that many random events altogether, the behavior is so close to the predicted probability that there is essentially no deviation at all. The motions of the individual molecules do not get any easier to predict, but the substance as a whole does. This is an example of emergence, when the behavior of a composite or collective is simple in a different way than the behavior of its parts. When we apply statistics to the activity of quantum particles, we get matter, we get solids, liquids, and gases, we get light, we get temperature, we get electricity. Through large numbers and complexity, a deterministic world can emerge from a probabilistic world, and a probabilistic world can emerge from a deterministic world. We can even get an emergent world of agents with will who make choices. If you've ever heard someone say free will and determinism are compatible, they're talking about emergence. 
And that is how our world of matter and people and societies comes to be from a foundational substrate of quantum probability. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.